Okay, so this video is about Norman Rockwell, art hero. He was a painter from the early to mid 1900s, and uh, he really captured the American family. And the family is the real unit of society. And so Norman Rockwell was great at telling a story with his paintings, as one can see here. You know, uh, on the way to the vacation, coming to the vacation place, going home, everybody's tired and exhausted, and. And you also see sort of a you know a reverence for the family, a love. It's you know they're beautiful. I have a whole bunch of thick uh, Norman Rockwell books. I got stacks and stacks and stacks of uh, art books, uh, old art books. I used to collect all these things, and it's a long story. Um, and uh, I had my kids trained in art. I think art's a great hobby, you know, because you can do it your whole life. A lot of other things I like. You know, I like being a wrestler, but unless you stay in top shape, it's hard to keep wrestling as you get older. Um, but art, tennis, running, all those things you can keep doing as you get older. Playing a musical instrument. So anyways, here's saying grace. And it really kind of captures the attitude of America. It was, you know, it was very Christian. It was very family there was a lot more respect, a lot more cohesiveness, you know, e pluribus unum. The Boy Scouts were really popular. I was a Boy Scout when I was younger. And, you know, you looked up to your Scout Master and to the, you know, the older guys who were doing stuff. There was more of a sense of connection, I think, when I was young to the adults than there is now. What I see now is all the kids hang around with a bunch of kids their own age, and they don't tend to care too much about kids older or younger than themselves, or they're not as tightly associated with male role models and father figures as they used to be. Um, and that's to the detriment of the kids, because kids all the same age can't learn anything from each other. They're all sort of equally ignorant. Um, there's also a strong sense of, you know, you start out as a junior scout and you mature up, you go through all the things you need to learn, hope to try to become an Eagle Scout. There was sort of re more respect and reverence for the elders and one's ancestors and role models um, and the Boy Scout was portrayed sort of as a heroic individual you were working towards becoming an Eagle Scout there was that more strong sense of a man grows up and does the right thing brave and honest and that's all good um, here's another you know beautiful storyteller uh, painting a Norman Rockwell uh, you know the boy doesn't want to stay on the family farm with the father and you know, the father looks kind of old because he's, he's, you know, working hard, but also because they're smoking cigarettes. That's the other thing. You see a lot of the old people in those days, there weren't that many fat old people, but they still a lot of times aged kind of poorly just because they used to smoke a lot of cigarettes. Um, it was very common to smoke. I can remember my parents smoked when I was a young kid. We used to s steal their cigarettes and crush them. And, you know, finally they quit in the 1970s. Uh, but that was real common that people smoked back in the 1960s, early 1970s. And you can see the boy, he's got his head above his dad, State University sticker on his uh, luggage, can't wait to get off to college. Uh, freedom of speech was pretty much taken for granted in the past, and this is sort of a nice uh, painting of that. You know, coming home, the big moment. Everybody was, you know, loved the, the guy who went out and, you know, taking all the risks for them. And, you know, the sweethearts there hiding behind the wall. There's mama all happy and all the neighborhood kids looking up to their hero. It's great. That was, that was the attitude of the country. And everybody had to sign up for the draft. That's how it was. And then going for the family holidays. I think, too, it was easier on the women in the past in the sense that they were much more likely to not have to work. When I was a kid growing up, there were hardly any divorces. And the mom was usually home. She usually didn't have to work. Usually the father made enough money to support the entire family. And the country was a lot more wealthy back in those days. Much, much, much more wealthy. Um, and so then what, I, what I'm getting at was, you know, the mom had more time to arrange family events. You know, back when I was young, these holidays were a big deal. All these relatives would get together, extended families. What I see in the modern world is a lot of the modern couples, both parents are working, a lot of times they're divorced, they're tired, they're exhausted. There's The holidays, from my experience with them, they're not as big of a deal as they used to be because the family's more spread out. A lot of times the kids have moved far away for jobs, they don't come home or they don't all get together as often and that's uh, unfortunate. It's good. 
the family is in everybody's best interest to help each other. So anyways, those are just some paintings of Norman Rockwell to get a sense of it. He's got tons of them. Like I said, I've got thick books of all his paintings. They're great. And he did lots of magazine um, covers. And back in the old days, magazines were real popular. Uh, so anyways, just to get a sense of Norman Rockwell. So, um, you know, it's beautiful. It's good. And it, it shows this attitude that I think is, is, um, is good for everybody.